So do you have a grab and go information for your loved one should something happen and you're not there or you're not able to speak or they're not able to speak? So I've created a one page emergency sheet for um, anybody who needs it. This is actually up in Sam's house on her refrigerator um, for emergency information. I do not have the actual numbers down because of privacy reasons, but I want everybody to think about, you know, what you would do. Um, can you answer these questions off the top of your head or if somebody needed them right away, especially if, say, you have someone who fell down as an unconscious and they're being taken off in the ambulance, you know, God forbid, but you need to know what their medications are, who their doctors are, notify their case manager, um, get any backup support put into place, let staff know, uh, things like that. Or if you have staff in the house and they need to know certain things that'll make their lives easier, like the Wi-Fi password in the house, um, how to get in the combination door lock that we have on the house, um, Sam's Pinterest password, which sometimes she needs, um, you know, these things you need to have and need to know about. So that's what this is. Uh, I also have what her diagnosis are. So she has her autism and what that looks like, difficult time understanding language, needs assistance with activities of daily living, is considered intellectually disabled, but she is still a smart person and knows how to get her needs met. Yes, she does. Uh, she has a seizure disorder, but luckily for us, we're controlled by medication. I hope that stays that way. Um, if a seizure does occur, that is less than three minutes, let her rest to recuperate. Um, if a seizure lasts longer than three minutes, call 911 for support uh, to go to the hospital. Uh, she has grand mal, uh, tonic colonic, full body spasm seizures when she does have them. Um, she also has her anxiety. New situations without providing um, antecedent supports in place, letting her know what's going to happen before it happens, uh, can cause panic and refuse to get out of the car or elope from a situation that she's un unfamiliar with. So you need to talk to her and tell her what's going on repeatedly um, and try to make eye contact. does work with her um, that she's paying attention if you have eye contact, so I probably should put that on there too. I'll do that later. Uh, so her medication, she's on continual birth control, so she doesn't have a time of month. She's got a little bit of Prozac and a little and Abilify and uh, Clonidine at night to help her go to sleep. Otherwise, she'll be up till 2 or 3 in the morning. Uh, and then, of course, she can take Tylenol, Aspirin, or allergy meds as needed. PRN is a medical nursing term for as needed. Um, and she has received the Johnson and jo Johnson uh, COVID-19 vaccine on 4/13/2021, so that would be important for a medical professional to know too. And of course, a picture of what she looks like to go along with it. I like that picture it's with, with the little locks coming down the side. So for Sam, I also have family contact numbers: me, her stepdad, her sister, her step grandparents. We're all in her life. Um, our consumer directed support staff, Franny, Caitlin, Giselle, and Ty, uh, who support her during the course of the week. Her a waiver case manager, um, her Dominion waiver case manager, which is her in home in home support provider. Just thought I'd write that in. Do they know who she is? And then her primary care physician her neurologist and her dentist and we're actually in the position right now of trying to find all three of these that's my goal for next week for me um, her pediatrician will not see her anymore her neurologist um, has highly recommended that she sees a adult neurologist and we need to find her a dentist who will um, be able to prescribe her meds to relax her um, because of her anxiety she won't even sit in a dentist chair that leaning back in a dentist chair just totally freaks her out it's like her feet off the ground is like it's a sensory thing that just totally puts her in uh, a flight flight panic situation 
So think about all these different things. What information would be really important for someone to have for the person that you love?